Okay. Here is a the newest diploma diplomatic boy. Let's see if I can find do another one here. <sighs> These two will uh, mean will uh, will a uh, W I L A D E N E Willadine Stupid name Willadine No, I haven't died yet. I'm still alive. Glenn Greer. Clem Greer. Both went to the same school, 1916-1918. But I know I've already done uh, them based on this one, so I'm going to see if I can come up with a different one. Oh, happy birthday. How's this? High school. Columbia City High School. This one looks like it can be cut up into a million pieces. Let's start right here. Is this going to be the mouse, or some eyes, or nothing? These look like two little eyes right there. I saved those for two little eyes. eyes like this, or two little eyes like this. Screwed up little eyes. They have to be like that. So if those are two little eyes, we've got to have a little mouth and a little nose. Hmm. Well, this can be a little mouth right there. Oh, half a mouth. But Look at that little happy mouth. So I need a I need a nose here. I'm using all of the little swooshy bits. Because it's a little tiny face. I got I got lots of faces to do. Well, I need one big face anyway. Okay, let me uh, get my glue. If there's any glue in here. 
corners a little bit. Damn it. Little happy face here. Maybe I should make this sort of a profile. Three quarter view, maybe. What are your thoughts, Marilyn? Trim, trim that down. You try not to have any thoughts. That's probably a wise idea. Who needs thoughts when you can have pens? Well, I had a rather handsome man fix my window today. So how's that for? So my day's going pretty well. And he fixed it for free. So. Okay, so that's one little face. I have to figure out the hair later. What can I do with another? Another. Another face. Okay, let's focus here. Focus, focus. We need to figure out a way to, to make a big, big, big head. I've got lots of paper. Uh, lots of big letters. Well, I'll, I'll send, give him a, send him a nice note and uh, get him a gift certificate or take him to lunch someday or something. Okay, now, 
Columbia City High School. It's an awfully grim school. Clem Greer. There's two curls here. Only two. I don't have them anywhere else. Thank you very much, calligrapher. You could have added another one somewhere, don't you think? I've got two C's. And the two C's can be a pair of eyes. That's sort of a no-brainer. Eyeball. Eyeball. I guess they go this way. Bags under their eyes. Very sad, baggy eyed person. Okay, so there's two eyes. What kind of a mouth are we having on this one? I've got two lowercase eyes that are good for nostrils. Do I have a mouth here or not? Well, the O can be a mouth. Another no-brainer. Oh, it's weird because the shadows are sort of doing funny things here. I guess you're going to go that way. I guess that's how you're going to do it. Nostril. That one eye seems like way far away. I may have to move that eye in.
What do you think, Marilyn? What do you think of my little face? I had to be closer together. A little too close now. <sighs> My college graduates. Well, they're not always from college. This one only got as far as high school. Well, actually, Clem may have gone further than high school, but... This is the high school diploma that I'm cutting up. So here's Clem's proud parents. Okay. okay, Clem, time for you. We'll deal with their hair later. Well, I think this is going to have to be a mouth. Right? Big happy grin. Clem is so, you know, Clem didn't think he was going to get out of the third grade. But with a little bit of A little bit of uh, palm greasing by Daddy. Daddy bought the principal of the school a very fancy, gave him a very fancy car. So. He was able to uh, finally get out of the eighth grade. Took him a while. Took him a while, did Clem. I guess Clem is going to have big old googly eyes. He's not the brightest light on the porch, this Clem. He's just really kind of dumb. No, he's not going to look like that. Well, that's, that's his smile. He's just, he, he has a very weird smile, Clem. Clem has, Clem has a lot of, a lot of problems. But his parents love him. And That's all that matters. I 
Okay, now a nostril. We need a nostril and another nostril. Do I have two nostrils here? One nostril, and a nostril. Clem is one fucked up dude. Clem is one screwed up kid. But that's fine. He can be screwed up. My tank. Oh. Oh dear. I ain't looking dude, this Clem. Okay, his nose. His very weird grin. Okay, now he's going to have a couple of eyes. Are his eyes going to be too close together or too far apart? Any thoughts? You know, all of his body parts could be kind of far apart. I've got enough. He sort of can end up looking like Mr. Potato Head. Maybe that's that's what Clem will have to be. A Mr. Potato Head kind of guy.
think they're going to have to be vertical. One dumb guy, this Clem. How he got out. Well, we, we, I told you how he got out. He was his father bribed. Mm-hmm. Come on, Pierre. Using up all of the... I'm running out of letters if I keep on wasting them like I'm doing it. I think this can be his ear. Do I have another ear on him? This, this can be his other ear. Hey, Cedar. I'm dealing with poor Clem. Clem is, Clem wasn't the brightest light on the, on the porch. Maybe he won't have eyebrows. Is that enough of an eyebrow for him? I think so. I think his eyebrows can be nearly non-existent. Yeah, he was, you know, his, you know, God bless his family for sticking up for him, but no one else would have. Okay, I've got all of his body parts. Little tiny nose, eyes set apart so you could drive a truck through them. Goofy grin, stupid eyebrows, but he got through the high school, all of the classes. And what is his hair gonna look like? Is his hair gonna be that kind of stuff? What are your thoughts? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with his nose right now. Come 
early. He has a crooked mouth, crooked teeth. Goofy smile. Our Clem. Andy Rooney. Oh, Andy Rooney. I'm, I was thinking of Mickey Rooney. You mean Andy Rooney, the curmudgeon. You know what I really like watching on YouTube? I love watching the very old 19, early 60s, late 50s era. Uh, what's my line? They are so fun and very smart. The... Um, Panelists are always the same, or almost always the same. And uh, the narrator is brilliant. And moderator. Or Clem. Well, that's that's as good as Clem gets. I'm not going to fine tune Clem. He's just that's as good as he gets. We'll get some ears and then I'll try to figure out how, what his hair is going to look like. Here's his happy parents. His mother's so pleased. His father is a little pissed that he had to buy a new car for the principal. You can see there's a little dot matrix pattern on a lot of this that um, sometimes shows up and sometimes doesn't. Clem S. Greer. Look at these little pit in the pendulum bottoms of the letters. It's like the you know, blade on the pendulum. Of 
or Clem. Okay, I'm, I'm done feeling sorry for Clem. We have to uh, we have to move ahead, move forward. Can't stick with Clem the entire time. Um, let me do his ears, and then I'll think about the rest of them later. No, yes. <laughs> Clem, Clem was a real person. He graduated high school. In fact, did Clem, did our Clem. In what year did he graduate? 26th, 1920. Oh, did I, sh would you like to see the little gallery of them? Here's yesterday's, very subtle. Crazy eyes. Little mustache, little mouth. Lovely eyebrows. walk out of here without killing myself. I got up at 2.30 today. family that I have to add the one I just showed you to it. Lots of them. Is a ginger. This one, he has lots of little black heads on his forehead. This guy has a very fancy mustache. I have many, 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 many more.
Poor Clem. I've said that enough. I think I can stop saying poor, poor Clem. Okay, let me just put his ears on here. So I don't lose his parts. And then I need to um, go downstairs to the gallery and actually have to do some some other stuff here. Pumpkin pie. It's not fair. You get pumpkin pie, I get Cheerios. There. Okay, so he all of his main parts are here. I have to fill in the holes. These are the holes in his education. If he doesn't learn it on the street. Okay, so let me just put all of these in a box so they don't get mixed up. I have a lot more to do with this diploma. See if I can show you some others that I've done here. Oh, all sorts of them. Look at these. Some of these are old or did them a year ago or so. Make up. Oops. Linguini with clam sauce. This is one of my favorite, the dental examiners. Is shedding a little tear. He doesn't want to leave high school. Bella, Bella got this. Bella was very happy. Their little, little buck teeth, little overbite. Mm -hmm. So happy. The typewriter award. This one looks a little bit, little bit like Wilma Flintstone. With a little ponytail sort of thing. Wilma and his Barney. Barney's. Bernie's, Wilma's cheating on Fred with Bernie. 
I mean, wouldn't you rather be Barney than Fred? This poor guy. Evil. Evil! Everyone's angry in this little family. Oh dear, who do we have here? I think these are a bunch of bunch of different people. Another fancy eye eye makeups there. This looks like Charlie Chan. Oh, number one son. G pops. Pearly white teeth. Look at those expressive eyebrows there. He's, he's kind of dim, this one. Nice teeth, though. Evil. I think this is the, the dog, the family dog. Crooked teeth. Very happy. This one is it's pretty pretty dumb, this one. With her pimples or measles or lots of lots of hair on this one. This one looks like it's trying to beat, well, Edward G. Robinson. See? See? Oh, look, little, the, the eye, eyes are made of little faces. There's a little, in the little still life, there were little, little faces which turned into their eyes. Okay, um, and I know I've got others here too, but did I look at this one? No, we didn't see this one yet. Did you look at Marie Dressler yet? Cedar? You watch that little two and a half minute clip. Do I have to play it for you? Do I have to play that clip for you? Marie Dressler was a was a character actor from the thirties. Um, and she plays a, a very, uh, the other day. she plays this very aging film actress who's been around the block a number of times. And Jean Harlow is the young blonde woman that is going to dinner so they're they're about to go into the dining room it's the end of the movie i was reading a book the other day reading a book yes it's all about civilization or something a money kind of a book you know i don't know if you can hear it we'll start over
Anyway, Marie Dressler looks a little bit like that one I just showed you. A nutty kind of a book. The guy said that machinery will take the place of all professions. Oh, my dear. I don't know if you could hear it very well. Did you hear it very well? to do I'll be right back I need to find God fuck's sake Ugh. Oh, come on, here. God bless. Think you get out of here? Okay, I need to go, people. I'll see you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.